feels like it's been years, but yesterday Tesla finally had the delivery event. So Tesla gave the Cybertruck to 10 lucky owners. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the all the specifics that we know about the Cybertruck, what Tesla has told customers, what's available on the website, and also very interesting list of accessories that are now available for the Cybertruck. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. All right, so now to go into the Tesla website to actually see that the car is actually there. So now looking at vehicles, you'll see the Cybertruck is there. So you can actually order your Cybertruck if you haven't already. Now, one the first thing I'll say off the bat is when you click on order now, you're going to notice that the reservations that used to be $100 have now increased to $250. But it does tell you that it is fully refundable. So as you scroll down here, you'll see order today fully refundable, $250. Again, it was $100. But most interesting that we see here is the pricing. So Tesla always is very clever with the positioning of prices. So you want to make sure you click on purchase price, not probable savings. But the cheapest Cybertruck, which is the rear wheel drive version, and gets 250 miles of range, will cost starting at $60,990. So initially, when Tesla you know, announced the Cybertruck, the starting price should have been $39,000. So now it makes you wonder why the change in price. Well, obviously, you know, inflation and other issues have increased costs, but I didn't expect it to increase that much. You know, from 39 to 60,000, it's quite a jump. And then we'll look at the other models. You have the all-wheel drive version that's 79,000. And then you have the Cyber Beast, which is $99,000. So the all-wheel drive gets 340 miles of range, 4.1 seconds, 112 top speed. Car weighs 7,000 pounds. And then you look at the Cyber Beast, and at the 0 to 62.6 seconds, and that's $100,000. So again, whichever one you want to order, we'll see what the process looks like. So let's say we want to order a Hyper Beast, or sorry, yeah, Hyper Beast. You'll go to Hyper Beast, you'll click that, and then you'll order with a card and basically, you know, order your Tesla Cyber Truck. So I don't want to go and do that. We're actually going to go back to Tesla and actually see all the specifics on the cyber truck so if you go to vehicles and you go on learn it's going to give you all the information now, something interesting to note about the cyber truck is that it is 48 voltage as opposed to most cars being i believe 16 volts and that's a pretty big deal regarding the battery technology so we already reviewed the order now and also tesla has these really nice images of the 4k what the cyber truck looks like I mean, in the live production ones, you know, look exactly like this. So, you know, it's telling you basically the towing capacity, the estimated range, the X0 to 60 acceleration, and Tesla has a promotional video as well. So this is built for any planet, and then you have all of the marketing, the videos, and no paint, no chips. And it also had something interesting yesterday. So at the very first... Um, event they threw what I believe was a steel ball through the window and they cracked the window now they threw a baseball so obviously a lot less impact and apparently that's baseball proof the window that's interesting so no paints no chip I wonder what that's gonna look like as the truck ages and fades and then it's also shatter resistant with armor glass resist impacts of a baseball at 70 miles an hour or class 4 hail and then you have all these other and all these other marketings, but there is interesting. I want to show you guys also all the accessories that are available. So the bed is six by four, and I believe there's like a drain under here, so you could use it as a cooler. I believe there was a picture online circulating that also shows that you can actually charge another Tesla from the Cybertruck. And this one you see has a, a roof rack there. It has a loading capacity with the there you see the rack and then what else does Tesla give you so after you lo you lock it up you load it up you lock it up right 
I mean, very nice marketing material. So Tesla during the event didn't really provide that much details. You know, it looks like all the information they've put is basically on the website. Then you also have power here. So it looks like they did something similar to the Ford F-150, but it doesn't really say you could charge your house. Well, actually it does power directly to your home to help keep the lights on. Okay, so it looks like it's similar there. And it also did a, for those who missed the event, they did a drag race against a Porsche 911 and the Cybertruck won. However, the Cybertruck was also towing a 911. Again, you know, Tesla's brilliant marketing. It wasn't, you know, the top speed, highest performing 911, but still pretty impressive nonetheless. And then here it gives you a nice glimpse of the interior. So I do like this steering wheel that they have. The ambient lighting looks really good. I mean, very futuristic interior. I can't wait to actually get inside of one of these to show you guys, but it looks like, you know, there's a lot of windows all over, so it's going to look nice. That looks quite interesting, the huge windshield wiper. So, I mean, this car has been taking Tesla four years to finally produce. And then you also have, you know, theater and wheels. I believe this is the largest Tesla screen of 18 and a half inches front and then 9.4 touch screen in the back. And then you also have the audio. You have the ability to charge your phone, so that's changing a little bit. So going back to the first image, it is interesting here that, so the truck doesn't come all the way out. It comes basically to here and you can charge your phones right there. So that's the interesting. The cigar has actually very interesting features as well. Then you expand the horizon, so you got plenty of room here. So there is the expansive uh, all-glass roof that I mentioned previously. So now we've gone over the ordering aspect, all the details on the car. Now, actually, I want to show you guys the accessories. Thank you. All right, so now we're in Shop Tesla. So now you look, the very first thing I have is Shop Now Cybertruck. So now I'm going to go over the most interesting accessories that Tesla has. So the very first is this Cybertruck base camp. So when we click on it, we'll actually look into detail. So it looks like it is a very fancy tint. So we'll see more images here. That is pretty sweet, actually. So I'm assuming this is a kind of like a mattress. So the kind of here gives you all the information of the base camp on the tactical. So the tent assembly, awning, awning poles, air pump for the mattress, L brackets, accessories, repair kits. So it's one of the very first that we saw. So 29.75. Another thing. I don't know if you guys saw online, but there are videos circulating of a black Cybertruck. And so Tesla is charging $6,500 for you to basically color your Cybertruck black or white. Never seen the white one before. It looks interesting. The black does look more stealthy. The white, actually, again, the first time I've seen it, looks quite interesting. So then... Basically, this is a wrap that Tesla's gonna do on the Cybertruck in one of four premium color paint films, only available through Tesla, offered in satin black and satin white. One of four. Oh, interesting, it says one of four, but only tells you two colors. Okay, so, and then you have a tailgate ramp. Not sure what I think about that. It just looks like a normal stair there. And then you have floor mats. Then you have a lot of um, accessories for the interior. You have underseat storage bin. You have a glass roof sunshade. You have another console tray. And then for the exterior, we kind of went over some of that. We went over the, the tent, the film. So let's see, satin clear paint film. So that's different than the wrap, one of four colors. It doesn't tell you what other colors it is. It just shows you, it looks like a silver color. So. And then we have the crossbars, the tailgate ramp, bumper protectors. 
And this is, I find very hilarious. It's basically a sticker showing that your window, your window's cracked. This comes with a squeegee and a decal for $55. You gotta give, you gotta love Tesla for all of these little gadgets that they have. And then you have a vault cargo divider. And cargo bins. So it's 225. Is it for just one bin? Place everything for cyber trucks of all bin. How true. So it looks like. Okay, so it's sold in sets of three with space for six. Okay, so basically, if you. Okay, and it comes with a little etching here of the cyber truck. That's pretty cool. All right, so. 225 for three, and it fits six, okay? And then what else do we have? All right, so L tracks, L track cleats. All right, so you have all these things for the bed of the car. And then a spare tire toolkit. Huh, $1,250 for a toolkit. And I feel like it's gonna take up so much space in the bed that it seems redundant to have, to be honest with you. Comes with a 20 inch tire wheel, of course. Yeah, it seems very, very pricey. I'm not sure it's making the best use of space, to be honest. And then you have snow chains, and you have air compression, and then you have $75 wheel covers. All right, so that's pretty much it on the Cybertruck. Wanted to go over basically the information and all the accessories that are available. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.